Hello, I'm doing a movie review, and the movie I want to review is Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. Now, Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back was released in 2001, and it's the fifth film of Kevin Smith's Jay and Silent Bob series, but this is really the first time where Jay and Silent Bob actually are the main characters, because in the first four films, they were really just, like, side characters. Um, like, in Dogma, they were kind of the main characters, but, um, this is really the first time where they're actually, like, the stars of the movie. Now, Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back is supposed to take place, um, sometime after the events of Dogma, and what I like about this is this basically brings back a lot of characters, not just Jay and Silent Bob, but it brings back a lot of characters from... Kevin Smith's other movies that came before this, like Dante and Randall from Clerks, they come back in this, and, uh, and Brody from Mallrats, he comes back in this, and, uh, and Holding McNeil from Chase and Amy, he comes back in this as well. Um, basically what happens in this is, now in Chase and Amy, the character of Holden McNeil, played by Ben Affleck, and his friend, played by Jason Lee, did this comic book series called, J called um, Blunt Man and Chronic, which was actually based off of Jay and Silent Bob. What happens is, Jay and Silent Bob hear from Brody, who is a character from Mallrats, that... Um, that Hollywood is making a movie based on the Blunt Man and Chronic comic book series, which of course is based off them. So, um, basically Jay and Silent Bob are pissed off at this because they're not getting paid for this movie. So, um, what happens is they, basically the plot line revolves around them, uh, going to Hollywood trying to stop the production of this movie. And this is a very fun movie, and um, there are a lot of cameos in this movie, like um, George Carlin does a cameo in this movie as this hitchhiker. Um, and uh, and in the movie, um, Ben Affleck, he plays the character, he reprises his role as the character of Holden McNeil from Chase and Amy, but he also plays um, he also plays himself in the movie as well, because there's a scene in this movie where Jay and Silent Bob go onto the set, and basically, like, the, in the movie, um, Gus Van Sant is making a sequel to, to Goodwill Hunting, and so, um, you know, so you see Matt Damon and Ben Affleck on the set of the movie, and in that scene, they're both playing themselves, and Gus Van Sant plays himself as well. Um, there's a scene in the movie where they go on to the set of Scream 4, and because in the movie, Wes Craven is making a Scream 4, and Wes Craven actually plays himself in the movie, and, um, so you get a lot of cameos from different celebrities in the movie, um, you know, Will Farrell is also in the movie as well, uh, you know, and Jason Lee, he plays two characters in this movie as well. He plays the character Brody from Mallrats, and he plays the character he plays he played in Chase and Amy. But yeah, um, this is a very good movie. Like, if you're a Kevin Smith fan, definitely check this out. And you kind of have to see, like, all the Kevin Smith movies that came before this in order to understand this one. Uh, but yeah, Jane Silent Bob Strike Back is a very funny movie. I definitely recommend it, and bye.